Hey, what's up guys? Blacklight Android HD here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to flash LB's 95 ROM version 3.0 final. So, this is a how to flash tutorial, and also the overview for LB's 95 ROM. So, this uh, maybe maybe the video that you're looking for if you wanna convert your Galaxy S4 to a Note 4 let's say device for example well we're gonna be looking uh, at this ROM after the main uh, flashing tutorial so let's get into into the, the flashing tutorial so right now I got uh, the files on my external SD card I'm gonna show you them right away so choose it from SD card and then we're gonna flash uh, LB95 ROM 3.0 final bus. First of all, we'll need to make a wipe, and we're gonna wipe clean to install a new ROM. So, like this. I'm using uh, Touch uh, Feel Touch Recovery 6. I know it hasn't been updated for a long time and uh, won't be ever updated again. But uh, for me, this remains the most simple and uh, the most stable uh, touch with recovery I've ever ever used because I used to uh, I've also used the touch with recovery project the TW RP thing that's the abbreviation but uh, I wasn't satisfied by with that so right now it's uh, cleaning to install a new ROM so it's wiping data cache and other partitions. It's uh, it's okay right now. So we're gonna go now back and install zip to zip from SD card, and we're gonna choose LB95 ROM. The final three final. Okay. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Let's see if uh, it benefits of Aroma installer. Nope, it doesn't. It's just the main installation with all the information he gave us on uh, his uh, official thread, XDA developers. I'll put a link in the description. So installing LB95 ROM. I guess I'll be I'll be back I'll be back to you guys after it finishes the uninstalling. So stay tuned. Galaxy Note 4. As you may see, well it's not actually, it's a Galaxy S4 ported to Note 4 by using LB95 ROM. So, first of all you'll notice this beautiful clock, looks so elegant and minimalistic and it's been ported for Note 4, as you may see. And this is the Note 4 launcher with flip flipboard briefing. We may get started, but you can browse through technology, sports, celebrity, and uh, many other, many other, you know, news subjects. I think we also have the Galaxy S5 camera. Yes, as you may see. So this is the Galaxy S5 camera with all the modes, starting from virtual tour. Panorama, shot and more, beauty face. You can also download more by going here into into Samsung apps. But we're not gonna get into this further because uh, what th does it really matter of this ROM is the sp speedness and the smoothness of it. So, so as far as I'm concerned, um, on the first side, this is a go. So as you may see, it is uh, moving pretty fast, even if it's a port. Uh, Wi-Fi is working pretty well. Let me show you the notification bar. So it's the same as the Note 4. Notification toggles looks exactly look exactly the same. Floating messages toolbox. We also have the toolbox imported, which is very good. So you can launch uh, what whatever app you want. With just the press of a button right here. So browser. Just take some time to launch the browser. I think it's normal because it's it's also the ported browser for from Note 4. 
so we're gonna skip that so let's get into phone to phone uh, app just to see how it looks so it looks pretty the same as the note uh, 4 one actually I think this is also a port so let uh, let's see how the dialer looks let me turn this into silent mode so let's see sorry let me call again okay it looks looks pretty well also show the notification where it's been called today as you may see okay so this looks pretty sick contacts yeah the same color scheme messages also ported up from from note 4 so every I think every single app in this ROM has been ported from note 4 so um, what else should be interested into the music app let's see how it looks on the notification on the lock screen for example let me play a song and just turn the music off because YouTube may try me out so as you may see it looks beautiful let me focus okay sorry also we also have the this interesting bubbling unlocking animation yes very 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 good and shiny let me turn up the music as you, you can also see here the notification information with about this uh, the music app video let me see if I got some important videos no I don't really have some rocket cat right here uh, interesting clock let me get into clock uh, I've seen the multitasking bar right here so we're gonna open some apps for example and the video app just to make sure you guys uh, see that uh, everything is running perfectly so two apps at a time um, any other things calculator I've showed you that before let me show you that I'm currently running Albi's uh, let me focus Albi 95 ROM 3 also the Android version is 4.4.4 .4. device name yeah okay status not really important power saving it's got an ultra power saving mode we're gonna check this right now so yeah I have read and as you may see it gives you some information about uh, your uh, your status of your battery and how much will it last from now on so ultra power saving mode it looks exa exactly the same as the S5 uh, one you can uh, let me turn the brightness really down you can open the phone without any animation so it wouldn't consume some GPU power the better percentage and the estimated max maximum standby time you can disable this yes turn off okay so this uh, works perfectly toolbar right here let me turn up I think this looks uh, even better okay so other things in settings you will find it interesting S Pen lock screen you have some some unlocking effects P -p -p popping colors so we got abstract tiles or tiles it's the same unlocking animation I don't get it none I think I have to press save yeah 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 sorry so we're gonna check none the first sight and see how it looks very very beautiful and smooth abstract tiles okay so we got a force close system UI yeah I think yeah how to fix this well I see he released I saw he released an, an update and I'm gonna flash that by going uh, into recovery if this error is gonna let me if it isn't we're gonna go it by pressing the volume up the home button and the power up 
I guess this is the problem and you know, the fix contains and the update contains the, the contains the fix to this so I forgot to flash that after uh, initial boot sorry for that guys but it's good to know it you always have to learn something okay so right now it's booting into recovery okay so we boot it up let me focus just to show you the file and it's called uh, come on come on load up it's called LB 95 ROM upgrade 301 okay, so right now it's upgrading okay done now let's check things up okay so let's see how fast does it boot boot up speed test actually so you have the nice nice very nice Samsung boot animation okay Android is upgrading it booted up very fast I hope we won't get any force closes but we get so that's that's nasty that's really nasty we're gonna try and deselect that that's unlocking effect and click save yeah I think that fixed the problem I'm gonna enter the pin so take in mind guys that uh, unlocking effect referred to water not watercolor let's try watercolor yeah watercolor works but brilliant cut let's try this this also works let's take a look at stone skipping well there are a lot of unlocking effects if you ask me really nice if you want to personalize your phone light effect I think you know this from the default Samsung Galaxy S5 S4 blind let's see yes brilliant ring Ooh. Really, really, really looking very, very nice. And ripple effect. I know you all know this, but as you as you saw, this the the, the tiles actually disappeared from the setting, so that must have fixed this problem. Wi-Fi is working properly. Bluetooth also. Airplane mode. Data usage. Half year lock screen more networks display and wallpaper let's see some wallpapers okay, home screen and lock screen let's set up a lock screen for example let's set up this because it looks more more minimalistic yeah the effects are you can see the effects very nice now yeah smart stay one ha one handed operation reduce screen size yes one handed input slide key panel why doesn't it work I thought it was gonna reduce it well doesn't really matter won't using this shit adaptive display daydream Torch time light, light timeout and themes. We've got some interesting themes. Let's set up, for example, the G3 theme. I'm gonna apply this. Okay, so okay, this got into a whole new area of customization. Looks 
pretty damn well, if you ask me. Other settings that we need to, to, to take in mind, notification panel, you can customize the styles, of, of course you know that. Account, toolbox, port toolbox, which is enabled, private mode, blocking mode. Also see, saw the download booster. Yeah, and you also need to turn uh, on a mobile data to use that. Other other interesting things. Ultra power saving direct toggle right here. Mobile data. I have I noticed a bug, but I don't think it's a great one, big one. Yeah, no, it is. It disappeared after the update. So yeah, kind of. Yeah, you have the multitasking uh, button on your option one you can customize this in a in a exposed module yeah it looks pretty well and it behaves really well for ported ROM if you ask me let's change the wallpaper because I think it's a little bit bright so we you may notice the Note 4 launcher how good it looks okay and we're gonna set up this one again and it looks pretty damn well. Other, let me see the launcher, the clock launcher here disappeared, but I don't think he may have disabled it. Update or oh, just removed it. Yeah, I think it disabled it. He disabled it. The update. Not really good because I really like it, but you know, must confirm with the developer's need. As voice, this I'm never gonna use. Play Store Super User S Twix, you can customize your performance for your CPU, and so on. So let's say let's see again the lock screen because I really like this lock screen, dude. This looks really sick. I th I don't think it's a bug, but I don't really think the camera should be right here. But you know, it's a port and. Uh, this kind of visual box will also will always appear. You can uh, set up to get into a, a app, an app. Any other applications that we should take in mind in this review? Five minutes left already. Uh, I don't think so. S Finder works. Yes, it works as you may see. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, really nice, really nice. So we have a kind of a slim pie option or pie option. You know, you were in an application like messages and you... S no, not this one. I think it was... Let me, let me, yeah. It's this one. And you want to go to the screen, you just press this and yeah. You're back in the screen. So let's get let's uh, take a look at the RAM, how RAM stays, random access memory. Well, as you may see, 135 one of 175 gig. Um, it is very good. If you ask me for a port, it could be better, but uh, yeah, it is pretty decent. Take in mind that uh, this is how it comes from a uh, from a factory. As, as I would say, like with no apps installed, with no user apps installed, it's pretty decent for port. So, guys, that was the review. Big shout out for RB95 for making this round, this port. This is how it looks, this is how it behaves really fast and smooth. I've recorded this video at 60 frames per second, so you would be able to, you'd be, you would be able, able to see all the animations and the smoothness of this ROM. So. Blackline Android is out guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe here right to my channel. Blackline Android is out guys. Bye bye.